this is a quick video blog post. Normally I'd write, but this one I wanted to sound. Um, just to talk about this, which is the first electric guitar I ever bought. Uh, in fact, the only electric guitar I ever bought, because when I decided I'd kind of fallen out of love with this one and the sound wasn't doing, kind of wasn't right for what I was trying to play, I then built the next guitar and uh, the rest, as they say, is history. Um, so what is this? This is a 1996 Made in Mexico uh, Fender Telecaster in Sunburst. At the time, I was quite obsessed with Radiohead, and so if the Sunburst Telecaster was good enough for Johnny Greenwood, it was good enough for me. Ignoring the fact that his was uh, a, a Tele Plus with, with uh, uh, humbuckers in it. I didn't understand such subtleties back then. Um, it's, it's a good guitar. It is not an exceptional guitar, I imagine. The neck is what really does it. When I went into the shop, I tried the uh, Squire Tellies and uh, made the mistake of thinking, well, I'll just try the cheapest Fender and see what the difference is. Um, and having played this neck, I couldn't go back to the Squires. Um, so I got this. It was a lot of money for me back then. Um, but it, it you know, served me well um, in the kind of the, the band I was in at the time and then but over time you know I, I stopped playing and then when I got back in to play guitar a couple of years ago I just wasn't happy with the sound from this and so so yeah so I, so I moved on but of late a couple of things have made me appreciate this guitar a whole lot more um, so it's kind of a combination of trying to get that stratty sound, the kind of Fender single coil pickup sound, um, of the likes of, you know, like kind of Hendrix or Steve Ray Vaughan or even John Mayer sound. Um, so that, to me, that's this kind of neck pickup, um, has that kind of Fender twang to it. Um, and I've also dropped it um, half a step so it's in, it's in E flat and that just loosens up the strings and makes it much more fun to play um, so it's that kind of bit on the intro to me I say is the classic uh, um, maybe a bit much reverb there um, but yeah that, that kind of sound um, is really good. Those, those tones just, there's no, no other guitar in my collection that does them. Um, I guess technically I want a Strat, but uh, it just so happens that when I, I thought I'd give this one a whirl, it helped. And I think having an amp set up properly, a kind of good amp that kind of is set for that kind of tone as well, um, helped a lot. I suspect this guitar suffered because before I didn't have I had okay uh, amp and plug an okay guitar into um, an okay amp and you're going to get okay. Whereas the kind of guitars I built, I was going for something kind of better than okay and those kind of were, were good despite the amp. Whereas I think this really needed to be paired with a good amp to get the, uh, get the tones I wanted out of it. The bridge pickup um, is a bit harsh for a clean. Biting, but um, uh, in a in a band context that would be great because um, you're trying to get over the bass. Uh, but at home it's a bit much. But if you uh, put on a bit of drive, it's quite good. Uh, Even actually, the drive on the on the neck pickup is also. Really, really quite good. So yeah, so having sat unloved for many years, this guitar is now back in regular rotation. Um, and it's nice to have an excuse to play, particularly because that neck is so 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 nice on this one. Um, yeah, that's it. I just wanted to kind of share 
the kind of joy of rediscovering an old guitar and uh, uh, having some fun with it. Until next time.